Hello, and welcome to DevNook number zero. Fair warning, this is going to be a pretty jump cutty format. The idea behind DevNook is that I work on stuff and I want to start sharing that stuff without having to wait for it to be done and put together full formal project videos. If that's still too long, each video will have a too long didn't watch section, which for this video is right here. This week, I'm introducing a project called VT10000, or VT10K for short. It's a fantasy console inspired by video terminals such as the VT100 by DEC. I might change the name to distance a little bit from the VT100 inspiration, but DEC also isn't really around anymore to sue me. Part of the inspiration behind this project is the frustration I've had trying to make text-based games in things like Bash and Windows Command Prompt, only to find out that things are very inconsistent when I port it from one platform to another. Making a fantasy console gives me a stable platform to build those kind of games on, without having to really worry about all the weird differences between different platforms' shells. The general idea behind it is that you'll be using JavaScript to send standard ANSI control codes to the fake terminal. I do have a rough idea for a story, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to stick to it. To me, this is some kind of home computer that would have been built in the 1980s by a company who used to make video terminals in the 70s and then had to shift their business when the demand for that dropped out. If I stick to that, I'm going to have to do a lot of hand-waving to explain JavaScript. I do have a few ideas, but theoretically, I could also go as far as making the machine based on the Motorola 68K and then directly compile duct tape for that, but I'm getting ahead of myself there. I'm building it on Unreal Engine 5. That might sound like overkill, but it gets us a few key things that would be really hard to do without it. Most importantly, it should allow me to release this on basically any modern platform I want. I'm also hoping this will have a really authentic CRT look and feel, and Unreal Engine's post-processing effects should really help out with that. Lastly, I think it would be really cool if I could find a feature to justify it that would allow you to zoom out in 3D and see the machine sitting there on a table. Imagine being able to do cool stuff like swap out a ROM or add memory to it or hook it up to your modern system with cables you can click and drag around or something like that. So progress-wise, it's already pretty well featured. The JavaScript REPL is up and running, and it can already handle codes for cursor movement, screen clearing, and foreground colors. There's also a functional built-in snake game that I'm using to test features as I add them. It might stay built-in, but I'll probably move it to a more formal application space once I have an idea of what that looks like. It will eventually be a little bit more than just a REPL because I do want to have some kind of menus to allow you to navigate programs that you have installed and maybe even open up existing files. So for the immediate term, I have a handful of additional features planned. First off, background colors. Those would be nice. I'm also an unabashed TypeScript nerd, so I will have a .d.ts available eventually. I might even do that pretty soon so that I can write the majority of the built-in JavaScript in TypeScript instead. There will be some kind of sound interface. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but I'm hoping to build some kind of cool tracker program for making music too. To help expand the graphics, there will also eventually be some kind of interface for overriding built-in characters with your own custom bitmaps. It needs some way to communicate with the outside world, so there's definitely going to be a network interface and probably some kind of interface with the host system. Behind the scenes, it's currently using a memory mapped bus of sorts. The idea is that each component on the system communicates through that bus instead of direct function calls. This might be something I toss, but it has a few interesting facets. The idea behind it is to allow JavaScript to have a peek and poke interface sort of like old school basic. For people who really dig into the documentation, it should allow them to do fancier or faster things than what they get with the normal JavaScript interface. I have a working 6502 emulator, and it would be pretty cool to plug that in and be able to write C programs for it using CC65. If I want to get really fancy, the JavaScript engine I'm using, duct tape, can be compiled for Motorola 68K. That would allow me to use a non-anachronistic CPU that literally runs JavaScript, and then I would have a direct performance trade-off between JavaScript and assembly. But honestly, that sounds really complicated, and I'm not sure how much interest there would be in using that interface, so I think I might spin that idea off into its own console. I'd like to find a way to monetize it, somehow. I think my ideal would be to release it for free and then back it with Patreon or something like that. I could also just make it really cheap or have some kind of free premium model as well, assuming I can think of features that make sense to separate as extras. I think that's all I want to say about this project for now, so that brings us around to DevNook Zero TLDW. I'm building a new fantasy console inspired by 70s era video terminals. With it, you'll be able to use JavaScript to build games and applications by making clever use of text characters on an 80x25 grid. It's built using Unreal Engine 5, which should allow me to release on all major platforms, as well as eventually put together a very authentic-feeling CRT-like experience. Be sure to stay tuned if you want to see the next update.